Hey guys, it's Jenny Silver, and today I want to talk to those of you who need to create a blog. Today's video is sponsored by Wix. Wix blog offers an all-in-one blogging tool. It allows you to choose from designer-made templates, customize them to suit your needs, and implement a variety of very powerful and useful features. To create your own blog, click the link in the video description down below. I'm going to show you a full tutorial on how to set up your Wix blog. I'm going to show you how to customize a template, how to optimize it for SEO, and how to monetize your blog, among many other features. First, Wix is going to ask you what type of site you would like to create, and today we're going to be creating a blog. Next, Wix is going to offer you two options. The first is to let Wix ADI create a site for you, or you can use the editor to customize a template. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the editor to customize a template. After you click on edit a template, all of the available templates offered through Wix will populate. You'll be able to scroll through, click one that looks best to you, and preview it before you commit. Once you have selected a template and applied it to your blog, you will be able to begin customizing. I'm going to start off by changing the top header image here shown on the blog. I can click on the image itself and from there I can click on change strip background. From there I can then select either stock images that Wix provides and has available or I can upload my own custom image. Next, I'm going to customize the text up top in the heading area by double clicking on it and inputting my own text. Next, if you're going to add a new area of content to your site, you're going to need to add a strip. Now, anytime I want to add in a new element to the page, click the plus symbol over on the left hand side. This will allow me to add to the site a variety of different features. There's a wide variety of features to choose from, including text, images, buttons, galleries, decorative objects, basically any feature that you need to add in, this is where you're going to be able to locate it. Now, I want to show you one of my favorite features that Wix offers, and it is groups. If you click on Add Wix Groups, then what it will do is it will populate an interactive group page where your blog members can communicate with each other similarly to a social media platform. Once this feature is activated, you will be able to click on View and Edit your group. This site is going to allow your viewers of your blog to create a profile, add a profile photo, create posts, add comments, etc. If you need to edit the settings of your groups, head over to your Wix dashboard and click the Groups tab on the left hand side. From there, you will be able to add members and edit the features of the group. Next, we're going to add a button linking over to the group page in this new strip that we had previously added. I'm going to click on the plus side over on the left hand side. From there, I will then select the button option and I can then input a button directly into the page which will link over to the group site. Now once I have customized the text of my button, I am then going to click the add link section down here. Here's where I can select where the button will redirect the viewer. I'm going to select the group page that I want to apply here and then I'm going to click done.
Next, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page where I want to add a gallery of my YouTube videos. I'm going to click on the plus feature over on the left hand side and then I'm going to select videos and music. From there, I can select which type of gallery I would like to input into the page. Next, click on the video gallery itself and then click on settings. Next, you will be able to either click upload videos where you can upload them from your hard drive or you can select the connect YouTube channel feature where you can input the direct link to your channel and your videos will automatically populate. Next, I want to show you some of the most powerful tools that Wix offers for your blog. And these can be located in the App tab over here on the left. Here you can access a variety of marketing and monetization features, which can really help you to earn income with your blog. If you go down here to the Marketing tab and click on it, you will be able to see all of the possible apps that you can implement on your site. I'm going to show you how you can use Google AdSense to input ads directly onto your blog page so that you can earn income. Click on Google AdSense. Next, you will be asked if you want to add this feature to your site. Go ahead and click the Add button and next you will be able to drag and drop this ad wherever you would like it to appear on your blog. In order to activate Google Ads, you will need to click over to the settings and then click through to Google AdSense. You will need to set up an account there. Now, once you have created an account through Google AdSense, Wix provides you with detailed instructions on how to activate Google AdSense on your page. Now, because your blog will display differently according to what type of device your viewer is using, the guidelines on the sides of the page will show you the cutoff area for having your content safe on all versions. So make sure that you drag these over to an area where they will be viewable on all devices. Another great way to monetize your blog is to add a pay now button. You can do this by clicking the plus symbol, clicking the button tab, and then you can add in your button of choice. Next, another great feature that is a good idea for you to implement on your blog is a mailing list. Open up the Wix app market and then down here click on marketing. Next, you will be able to locate the MailChimp forms by MailMunch. This is a great feature because you can integrate MailChimp, which is a free platform for creating and maintaining a mailing list, and you can integrate it into your blog. I'm going to create a pop-up form so that when users view the blog, they can opt in to join my mailing list. From here, I will be able to easily customize the look and features and text of the pop-up form. Next, I'm ready to add some posts to my blog. So I'm going to head over to the Wix dashboard. From there, I can click on the blog tab and then I can click on create new post over on the right hand side. From here, I can enter in my title, add my blog text, and then I can customize it from there.
If I click on the SEO feature over here, I will be able to view exactly how search engines are going to view the page and I can customize different features of this blog post that will help it to turn up better in searches. Next, you will want to update the categories section and make sure that your blog has proper categories. Categorize this blog post so that it comes up properly, and then you can move on to edit the tags that are applied to the post. Now, once you have completed adding in your tags, an important feature of this area is the monetize section. Click on the monetize section and you will be able to earn money from your blog post by creating a subscription plan for some of your content. Next, we're gonna use the rich text editor to make our blog text look its best and really stand out. I'm going to go ahead and take this quote, which is embedded into the text, go up to the quote area here, and I will now be able to change that quote so that it stands out from the rest of the blog. Next, I'm going to format this area here by adding in numbers and bullet points. I can highlight the text and change it to have either a number format or bullet point format so that it's easier for the reader to view. Next, I'm going to go ahead and format this image. If I click on the image, I can select many different ways to align the text and the image so that it looks exactly how I want it to appear. Next, I'm going to add in another image to the blog post so that I can show you how you can edit the image within Wix to make it look its best. I'm going to choose an image to input here into the blog. Once the image is embedded in the blog, I'm going to go ahead and choose the exact alignment and size where I'd like it to be. Next, I'm going to click on the edit feature here. Wix has a variety of different tools I can use to edit this image and I'm going to cut out the background from this image so that I can remove it and have a clean, different background. So I just simply click the button, Wix automatically removes the background for me. Next, I can enhance the image by clicking enhance on the left hand side. I can then adjust the different parts of the image such as exposure, contrast, brightness, and change the colors. Wix also offers a filters tab where you can click on the left to view different filters that you can apply to change the look of your photo. Next, I'm going to add in a custom background to replace the background that I had previously removed. When you are all done and you have added all of the content that you would like to have present in your blog post, you can click the settings tab to update the thumbnail photo. Now once you click publish up in the right hand corner, it will automatically prompt you to create an email campaign and share that new blog post with your viewers. This is a feature that I think is really great here with Wix because we have already integrated MailChimp, that free email platform, into our blog. And now as soon as we post, we can immediately share that blog post with all of our readers. Wix also has a fantastic mobile app, which you can install on your mobile device and access your blog features on the go. Next, I'm gonna show you how you can add multiple editors and writers to your blog. You are going to click on Roles and Permissions. From there, click on Manage Roles. Next, you'll be able to scroll down and in the Blog section, you will be able to select to add either Blog Editor or Blog Writer. 
Click invite and from there you'll be able to enter in their email address to send them an invitation. Scrolling down, you will be able to check off what type of role and permissions you would like to grant them. In the blog section, you can select them as a blog editor or a blog writer. Now, getting your blog found is extremely important if you are trying to monetize your content and reach more viewers. Wix offers a variety of SEO boosting tools. So if you head over to your Wix dashboard and click on marketing and SEO, you will be able to access these. A great feature in here is a step-by-step -step plan created specifically for your website. So if you click on start now, you will be prompted to enter in the information about your blog and your business. Once completed, you will receive a recommended series of steps to do to ensure that your SEO is opt Lastly, when you have completed building your blog, you're going to click the publish button in the upper right hand side. Okay, you guys, I hope that was helpful. In order to create your own blog, click the link in the video description down.